Oh yes guys, welcome back to yet another tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to build a website like this, which is kind of like DBank or Zerian or Zapprify, where given an address, you can show all kinds of information about that address. For example, some uh, overview, or for example, which chains is active on, when it was last seen transacting on the blockchain, when it was first seen, uh, all of the different information about cross-chain holdings, um, cross-chain activity, all of the different uh, counterparties, all of the different smart contracts that it has been interacting with mostly, the different badges, whether it's a whale, early adopter, or multi-chain, or and so on and so forth. But not only that, if you go to Tokens tab here in our demo app, which I will soon show you how to run locally, you can I, this whatever you see on the screen, you will be able to run locally with your own API key, with your own data within the coming 10 minutes. So you click on tokens, you see all of the token information with all metadata. Uh, you click on DeFi positions, all of the DeFi positions are here, whether it is um, uh, lending, borrowing, providing liquidity, and so on and so forth, all of the different protocols are supported. You click on NFTs, you get all the NFTs with metadata. Also notice the load time, it's super quick. Uh, looking at history, this is maybe the most difficult thing to do if you are to do this on your own, to decode everything, decode all transactions, everything cross-chain, everything in a very, very smooth, nice way. As you can see with all metadata, even with uh, summaries of uh, what has happened. Uh, for example, here's uh, minted one NFC swapped this uh, amount of ETH to wrap this to this amount of ETH and so on and so forth. So this will be super easy for you because we at Morales have a solution for this. Uh, I, and I will soon show you how to run it locally, but what you're looking at is used by the biggest apps, as you can see by the logos. Also, it is fully SOC 2 compliant, SOC 2 type 2, so if you work in any kind of regulatory regime where you have to be compliant, then this is the solution for you. And also, it's super cost effective because we are an infra company, we serve so many wallets, so many portfolios, so many institutions, that the price you get is very, very cost effective due to economies of scale. So on this note, let's get into the practicals. If you use the link below in the description, you will come to this uh, GitHub, which is called demo app. And here you can follow the instructions to get ex this exact uh, this exact app, which, has, which I just showed you. You can run it locally if you follow the instructions here. What you will need is an API key. So for this, you have to go to moralis.io and you have to sign up. When you sign up, you will see uh, a page like this. This is our admin page. And here within Web3 API, you can see how to get started. You, can, you see a link to the documentation. If you click here, you can see the reference for all of the different endpoints that are used. I will soon show you some details here. Um, and also, when you go to home, you see the API key. So you can click here to copy the API key. Oh, by the way, let me show you here. So you see the sidebar. So in the sidebar, I showed you here before, you go to Web3 APIs and um, you can see the docs here. And on, on the home page, you see the following. Uh, you see the API key, you can uh, copy the API, the API key, and then you need to take it and paste in your terminal, as I will soon show you. So copy the, the API key, then go back to the GitHub. And here you see that you, number one, have to clone the repository. So you write git clone. Then you need to start the server. You export the API key as a variable like this, then you run npm install and then node index.js, uh, very simple to do. Uh, and then you switch in a new terminal, you switch the repository uh, to, uh, you switch the folder to the client and then you run npm install inside the client and then you start uh, the client uh, running npm start and then you will have your React frontend started. And then when you've done these two steps, start the server, start the client, you will have this um, app running on your local host. Let me show you the code first. So if you open the code in um, a uh, terminal, you'll see something like this. And um, uh, what you'll see is, is something like this. So you're going to have index.js, then you have API here and client here. Uh, the most important things that you need to look at are here in the API, because here's where the magic happens. Here's where the data is fetched. So if you open history, for example, you can see that all of these different endpoints are queried to get the history. And if you go to the documentation, so again, you go, you get to the documentation if you go to your uh, Morales admin, and then you go to Web3 APIs, and then you click view API reference. Here, if you go into wallet API, you can see the wallet history endpoint. Uh, you can see all of the different parameters it, it can return, everything super, super doc, uh, doc, uh, in-depth documented. And 
you see that, yeah, this is the endpoint that was used here to get the history. And now you can send this to your tech lead or to your team so that they can experiment with it because within a few minutes, they have this running on their machine. It's fully interactable. You can see that it works. You can try different addresses by, uh, by pasting another address in, um, in this app by going to Swish Wallet. You can enter any address here. So hopefully this will get you started in a nice way. Now, let me get back to the code here. Uh, so history is using the history endpoint, then you have the NFTs. NFTs are using the NFT endpoint. Then you have the tokens, they're using um, the ERC20 endpoint right here. And then you have some other things going on here as well. For example, resolving the ENS so that you can uh, write, for example, Vitalik.eth. And you see here, if you go to... Uh, if, uh, if you go to the start page of this, uh, uh, this is what you see when you first start the app. You go to World Portfolio here. As you can see, you can write Vitalik, for example, .eth, and we check wallet, and it will load us. So now it is resolving the ENS, and it loads Vitalik's wallet. So ENS is fully supported here as well. Now, as you can see, there is all kinds of other use cases you can do. I just showed you the wallet use case. There is also a token use case where given a token, you can display all kinds of information. There is a market uh, NFC marketplace use case, which you can check out here. Uh, but uh, this video just is, is just focusing on the wallet portfolio. But even these other use cases, if you open up the VS, co VS code, you're going to see that all of the information is coming from, um, from here and uh, it's super easy to get started with. This is simple JavaScript, nothing too complex. Uh, calling the endpoints, parsing the information, showing it on the screen. Um, so based on this, you should be able uh, to get what I just showed you on the screen up and running quickly. Uh, obviously, you, you, you can explore the exact docs in the documentation page and, and learn all of the different things here. Um, for example, here's net worth endpoint, here is the wallet balance endpoint, here is the wallet NFTs and so on and so forth. Uh, but this is all simple stuff. It's simple calling the endpoint with uh, specific, um, uh, specific parameters, which is the address, getting the information, parsing it, showing it on the screen, and using the GitHub below you have already an example of how all of this can be parsed to basically create a clone of Zbank or Zerian or Zapperify. So I hope it helps you. I hope you can get started and ship something fast because that's the whole idea. Uh, check out the RPC nodes. If you need RPC nodes, we have all kinds of nodes. So API, you can easily get RPC nodes. You can easily get for all kinds of blockchains here. Uh, so Morales is really end-to-end, SOC to compliant, used by the biggest apps, and we hope to serve you and your use case as well. So see you soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and goodbye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.